Hello boys and girls, uh, General Daly here from the 42nd Air Assault Regiment and today I'm going to be helping you guys install and sort out the uh, Joint Operations Co-op Pack. This is for Operation Titan that's being taken on by all of you guys watching this video um, and your respective units. Um, so the first thing that we want to say is uh, obviously thank you um, for your support and helping us put this, this stuff together and um, getting your feedback and um, all of that kind of you know nonsense but let's get down to business of this video is going to take quite some time alright so you'll see here we're looking at a joint ops SOP in the notepad this is going to be made available on operation titan us when it is live uh, currently it is not but as you see here the following is a SOP regarding the joint ops pack these are add-ons that you will have to download yourself it includes the ACE and Acre Packs as well as all the CBAs. Uh, we are not going to be providing these add-ons because they're constantly updated within um, the mod pack. So these are going to be something that you acquire via 6 updater um, or Yoma, whatever you use. Uh, use your program if you don't have one of those. Um, Google 6 updater suite and uh, it should come up uh, fairly, fairly simple to install, fairly simple to use. So Moving on, uh, the next part is sound mods. Sound mods are acceptable because they are client side add ons. Any client side add on is allowed in this unit pack if it is cleared by your specific unit. If you're with 4SFG and they say you know you're not supposed to have uh, Shack Tack HUD, then you cannot use that. Um, so on and so forth. Uh, sound mods and those kind of mods that are client side are okay. There are a couple client side mods that are not okay, which is including Lost Key. Um, there's a few other programs out there similar to Lost Key, and those programs are also not allowed. If you are caught using Lost Key or you are caught using a program, you will be banned from the co op regardless of which unit you reside with. Um, moving on. Uh, the way that you're going to download um, the add-on pack is fairly simple. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have your internet uh, browser open. I'm going to use Google um, here. And you're going to go into uh, gmail.com, which is where I'm at currently. So into the username, you will type the following. Um, it's listed here in the pack as well. Recruit. at 42nd AAR.com. You will type the password as tester1234 and click sign in. Once you're signed in, you will see um, a recruit mail here. Now feel free um, to go crazy if you really want to use the recruit mail we don't recommend you mess with the email here uh, this is just for gmail purposes uh, there's no sensitive information or documents um, included in this uh, email address um, so we highly recommend that you just stay out of it this is for the the use of our um, of our teams and of our uploaders so once you have this done you're gonna have a separate tab open you'll see I have mine open here into that separate tab you're gonna paste in the following URLs uh, for download um, these are gonna be made available on the website as well maybe as direct links so if you're logged in you can click the link directly and once you have it you will click it and you'll see at the bottom uh, Google has uh, just started to download the uh, co-op pack I'm downloading 2.6 gigabytes in about 12 minutes, which is incredibly fast, so um, everybody should be able to get this quite quickly, um, and it shouldn't be an issue. So uh, we'll go ahead and do the second one, which is the user configs. Um, and once that's done, uh, you're going to take those folders uh, wherever they download to, and you're going to have to drag them into your directory, which is the next thing that you see here in the steps, dragging them into the directory. Uh, I have my directory open already for Arma. I have it on Steam, so um, I'm in my Steam folder. My joint ops pack, when it's downloaded, will go into this directory here. My user configs, I'll open up the user configs folder 
itself, go into my user configs and paste in any uh, music configs that I don't um, have myself. Uh, moving on, um, once you are done downloading the co-op pack, make sure you let you know your your personnel know that you're done and that you have no more things that you need to upload or excuse me download, and um, that way we can check you off the list of having received this co-op pack. Um, the next thing that you see here is a, it's a quite a big statement about updating. What I'm going to sum this down uh, to is uh, when it comes to updating, um, officially since the 42nd is uh, providing the hosting and the uh, websites and, and those things, um, updating will be done every Friday. If you update prior to Friday and you cannot get in uh, to your unit User left your channel. Or uh, the 40 seconds missions or anything like that that's going to be on you and there's going to be nothing that we can do for you until Friday I will not update um, servers and things of that of that nature uh, without um, it being Friday so don't update until Friday once it's Friday feel free to update um, there is an add-on request format coming up uh, if there's any add-ons that we've missed in this pack um, you will see it on OperationTitan.us. There'll be a small form to fill out um, that explains how to uh, how to request additional add-ons and things of that nature. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at c.daily at 42ndar.com. I will leave my email address in the description below, um, as well as any kind of other information that I can think of um, after this. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope this is not too long for you guys, and we will see you guys on the battlefield.